News. For three years, a Miami-Dade detective has been working to solve a murder mystery, a recent FIU grad killed by a stray bullet on I-95. And tonight on the victim's birthday, her mom and sister are honoring her memory as they continue to hold out hope of a break in the case. Um, Local 10's Christina Vasquez reports. It's the same every time, every day. For Sheila Nunez. The searing pain of losing her daughter, Melissa Gonzalez, three years ago this month, is the same to the first day. Is as constant as her desire to know who fired the bullet that pierced the car Melissa was driving down 95 South near the Northwest 79th Street exit, killing her. I won't rest. And for lead detective Juan Segovia to find out what happened to Melissa. It is a case that haunts. There's nothing more I would want than to be able to make that phone call to her one day and tell her, listen, we found out. Uh, who did it or it, we made progress in the case. A working theory has been that Melissa was struck by a stray bullet stemming from surface gunfire along Northwest 83rd, a man who worked nearby telling us back in 2020. It's just weird to think that the person who did that to my sister is still out there. There is this surveillance video. At the beginning of that shot, you're going to see somebody jumping into the vehicle. What this still active case now needs. Somebody does know something. Is someone to come forward. I've said it all along. All it takes is one hero, you know, to do the right thing. I would want them to call the number where they can say what they know, because at this point, anything is really useful to solve this case. Think of the peace that you bring to families. Think of the peace you bring to, to you know, to, to Shayla Nunez. Melissa's mom, um, you know, and have a heart. And the family tonight is hosting a remembrance ceremony. It's at 8 p.m. They say it's open to the public. We have more information about that on our website. But you heard Detective Segovia say that all along what he has said is that it takes one person to be a hero. If you have information about this case, if you can be that hero, go ahead and call the number on your screen. It is to Crime Stoppers. That number is 305-471-TIPS. And remember, your call can remain anonymous. Reporting live for you tonight, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News. Still